I'm embarrassed. Mama, Africa so sweet. Cause it all to be. Welcome back, viewers, to another African Healing Podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Sherry Mamjara Tal, and we have our special guest back with us today, Dr. Salu Pui. Dr. Salu Pui was born in Kaloli, the Gambia. That's next to Senegambia. Beautiful country, beautiful people. He did study at the uh, also at the Traditional Healers Assembly of the Gambia that he's uh, leading. He's a leader there. And so um, he has been a governor in the Gambia. He has been a social worker in the Gambia. He's a new grandfather. Um, <laughs> and so we can't wait to bring our special guest here uh, to talk more with us about our healing journey. I was in the Gambia for my healing and there's so much that I would love to share with you and that I'm learning and that I would hope to also, you know, include uh, our brothers and sisters in the diaspora and anyone else who's interested in uh, healing via Africa. Dr. Pui, welcome. Uh, you are, I'm, I'm welcome and you also welcome to the show and welcome everybody who is one way or the other listening or uh, be with being with us. I am very much delighted today on the, this nice sun shining in the Gambia to at least, you know, talk to you guys about health and wealth, as I say. Yes, health is wealth. Uh, we've, <laughs> yeah, we've learned that the hard way. And so, Dr. Pewey, let's cut to the chase. Just tell us what plant in Africa would give us superpowers. Just tell us. We don't would want to give know. us. You said we special, plant special powers. What besides cocaine, which you know, that has really doesn't have a lot of health benefits. What plant will give us superpowers? I'm sure everyone has that question they want to ask you. <laughs> yes, uh, we, the plant that most people know, which is the best superfood, is moringa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I would like to talk about it because I'm sitting next to it. You can see. Yeah. I'm sitting next to it. And uh, why it is so powerful? Because it is almost doing everything. Yeah. This is why we always call it uh, the, the cure for all. Right? They also call it the miracle tree, don't they? Yeah. They call it the miracle tree because of what it can do. It's a superfood. Animals like it, humans like it, and it does a lot, especially mm -hmm. most of the uh, outstanding ailments, high blood pressure, cholesterol level, sugar level, you know, and the most important thing of all is the immune boosting that it does. It mm -hmm. can boost your immune system against any other ailment. So right. this is why it is one of the most important herbs in Africa. Yes. And in the Gambia in particular, but there are many more. Yes. There are many more. Unknown, of course. Many more unknown. So and with, with the moringa <laughs> tree, you could use every part of it, the leaf, the seed, the skin, the root. Every part mm -hmm. of it is has a benefit uh, for yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Every part has a benefit. Like let's take these white flowers from these white flowers here. You see them? Right. You, you can use them and make tea. Yes. Right? You can use it fresh Dr. like Pui, this. I didn't know that. I thought I knew everything about Moringa. I didn't know that. And then you can use the same fresh ones and then make your omelet. You have your, 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 your omelet, your egg already. You Then you cut this thing into pieces, put right. it in your omelet, and it does a lot of amazing things oh, right wow. then you then you come to the leaves the leaves could be tea they could be powdered mm -hmm. you know and then you can put it in your smoothies and whatever right then the stem of course the branches and the stem right. you can also use it at the moment that i'm speaking right now i have already made a powder of the stem which is good for arthritis it's good for rheumatism right, right. and then it goes for inflammation in general 
And you all know that inflammation is the mother of all elements, right. to be quite honest. There are instances when the body reacts to certain reactions through inflammation. Okay. But, persistent, but persistent inflammation means something else, right? right? Yes. Right. And so, when you come to, when you come to the to the to, when you come to the seeds, then tell you see this one is small, it's green, but if it is matured, then you have the seeds inside it, and then those seeds will give us the nice oil that we call the ben oil. Have you ever heard of that? Ben oil. Yeah. We call it the ben oil. Right. Yeah, but that oil also is so good. Some can use it, some use it. I have seen some people put them in salad. I have put seen some but some people put it on their skin, on their hairs, you know. So it's so miraculous. Yeah. So miraculous. Yeah. So in other words, the roots also are very good in terms of inflammations. Also, you can use them at pulses. Right. And they are it's also analgesic. It can remove pain in terms of you know arthritis or rheumatism. They use it as pulses. So that at least you can you can get rid of all those pains. So in other words, the moringa is a miracle tree, is a wonderful tree. This is why we call it the cure for all. When you go to history, they will call it you know the radish the 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 the, the, the radish uh, uh, a tree. They call it the drumstick, and uh, most of them are saying that it is originated from India, but it is almost everywhere. In okay. the Gambia, I have been eating moringa since I was a small boy. And then we have a special diet that we use the moringa, both the leaves and the flower, and we call it boom. Chere ak boom. Your husband will know that. Chere ak boom. Ak boom. Chere means the couscous, and then boom is the soup that is made from this. Uh, these flowers and these leaves plus any other spices of your choice. You can put fish if you want, you can put meat if you want, and any other spices and you have a wonderful and nutritious soup. So therefore, the Moringa is one of the best trees in Africa or in the whole world because it's almost recommended by almost everyone. And there are a lot of documentaries, a lot of research now that has authentic, authentify all that we're talking about with the Moringa, or the Moringa Olifera. Mm -hmm. The moment you write that on your Google, Moringa Olifera, then you will see all the properties that it has. So yeah, yeah it's not that, guessing. Right, that Mor was actually mm -hmm. the first uh, plant that I was exposed to when I got to the Gambia. And, you know, if everyone, uh, watching us is familiar with my story, you know, Thanksgiving Day, November 25th last year, I got on a plane and I just, or maybe it was the 23rd, somewhere around there. I got on a plane and I just, you know, went to the Gambia and, you know, from the time I got there, I started feeling better. And a lot of it was probably inflammation because I was eating a lot of chicken and meat. And, you know, in the Gambia, they eat a lot of fish. So I just had fish only and moringa, you know, for my hair, my skin, my tea, everything was moringa. And so well, the one thing I discovered was, you know, when I did use the oil, it helped me to sleep better. If I, you know, put it on my hair, my hair was growing. I was sleeping better, but it did cause me too much of it. What would you say about this uh, issue that I had, Dr. Pewey? You know, mm. I, I said, okay, let me put it in my hair and then all over my body. Next thing I know, I, I was a little imbalanced. I was mm. maybe a little mm. dizzy. Is there a point where you can Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is what we say that too much of everything is bad, <laughs> right? Too much of everything is bad. There is limitation to everything. Because it's such an oil that can get into the body, that right. can get inside the body. So therefore, it's better that you limit how you use it. Yeah. You can use it maybe a day and then jump the other one, or yeah. you use it differently. Right. Like you can use the oil for certain instances. Sometimes you can use the, the leaves, right, okay. as tea. 
Sometimes right. you can use the powder in your smoothie. So yeah. you balance them, you know, <laughs> you balance them because uh, all of them has almost the same nutrients. Right. But they can re also react how and why you are using it. Right. And so the often and, right. and, and how so often you are also using it. Yeah, right. But the only one that I reacted to was the oil. And I know, um, you know, there's some reports that it could cause, uh, you know, pregnancy termination if some pregnant women use it. Uh, there has been reports of that. So, but for me, I just mm -hmm. use the oil at night instead. Everything else, the powder, the leaf, the tea, everything is okay if I drink three, four mm -hmm. cups of it. But it's just the oil I have to, you know, not use too much. But at night, yeah. if I use it at night, I sleep good and I don't have any side effects. Okay, if I may ask you, are you using it internally or externally? Externally, just <laughs> on my hair. And then I still have to scrub my whole body with it. So yeah. I just have to yeah. stop. So, yeah. you know, human beings also, they differ. You know, yeah. the reaction that you can get, Right. I might not get the same thing, but to be more exact, let us make sure that we minimize how we use it, okay. right? right? Let's minimize how we use it. But I know it's very good for hair growth right. and it's good for the skin, right? Yes. It gives you very good uh, soft skin. It okay. fights against any kind of form of eczema that you may develop. Okay. So, but uh, to be more exact, let's limit how we use it. Right. And then also be observing right. the reactions to our body when we use it. That's that will true. also will help us. That's right? Yes. Yeah. Because the human being is so sensitive that anything can be, you know, they can, can show reaction. And then the Ben oil, that's the Moringa oil, is not an ordinary oil like all other oils. I found so out. It, yeah, yeah. It may, it may react on certain sensitive skins right. different from others. Right. Well, yeah. Dr. Pewey, I have to be honest with you. I was very excited about it because my hair was growing. So I think I did an overdose. I just, I, you know, used like almost the whole bottle in one day. Oh, and, oh, yeah. oh that but was, I was too excited. much. But I was so excited. It was too much. And then you know that it's a very, it's an expensive bottle, uh, <laughs> oil, because the small bottle now is $300. And one liter now is going up to $6,000. I know. So, so knowing that it's expensive, right. so therefore you have to maximize also the usage. Right. Uh, so that, that will also guide you and also help you more. So $300 yeah. in US dollars would be about $5 US. So Yeah, yeah. For the small bottle, that is the 30 ml. Yes. Yeah. 30 ml bottle. Yeah. yeah. So how much of that should I have used? Maybe when you, uh, you know, that is 30, 30 ml. So maybe if you can use uh, like about two mls uh, at least, or let's say one ml at a time, just for your skin, for your for your hair, you right. know. Yeah. After washing it, you know, uh, drying it already, make sure that you put it inside up to it goes to up to the scalp, right? right? Mm -hmm. That's enough. That's enough for the day. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> so I was a little ignorant there, but you know, it makes a lot of sense, uh, Dr. Pewey, because yeah. Ringa, Ringa it, helps it, malnutrition as well. And it has a lot of omega-3 fatty acids, right? It has, it has almost everything. Everything or most of the basic nutrients that we need is right. in Moringa. Yeah, so this is why um, those who are very much interested um, if they would enter the study classes, mm -hmm. then we will have everything. It means that it, it, we will dissect it, and then they will see all the elements that are, in, that, are, that, are, that are there, the chemistry of it, the biology of it, right? right. And then the dosages and everything will okay. be there. Because yeah. maybe we cannot get all that in this short lecture. But those that are much interested in this thing can go in depth register in this course and then they will have i will send them these digital books and they will have everything these books have been made by us wahoo and then it has been well certified by wahoo and the uh, who itself right yeah because it's yeah everything is done well there
Okay, so Wahoo is the West, is the World I, Health, I'm sorry. West African Health Organization, oh, okay. which is in West Africa, okay. right? So WHO is the is the World Health Organization, and then WAHU is West African Health Organization, who is working in tandem with the dictates of WHO. But we are securing our West African region based on our hubs. Understand? One. We are also proud of our hubs, and uh, we have made what we call a pharmacopoeia. Okay. A pharmacopoeia is a book of plans. Okay. within a defined area well okay. studied well certified you know to okay. to suit the demands of their own populace and if it be god bless you and we'll see you back here again soon <laughs> okay thank okay. you bye-bye bye-bye thank you dr puey bye-bye